Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sweet Lamb of God. Oh, hallelujah. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. I, I cheated. <laughs> I wrote it up. It's one of my uh, favorites, one of the ones that I love to, to quote. But you have to review these things. It seems like sometimes you forget a verse here or there or something important. So we always have to review. Sometimes we think we know something when we, we might be a little off. <laughs> Just a little. You know, like my dad used to say, one degree isn't that much unless you're aiming for the moon. Amos 3 and 3 says, can two walk together unless they are agreed? Well, over time, you can drift away. Over time, you can fall away. So it's always good to, uh, like the, the captain of a ship, after the storm, you know, he resets that course. And that's what that verse means. Where it says we've all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We missed that mark. And so we always have to refresh our, our, our minds and our, our spirit with the good counsel of God's word. But just a, a word of encouragement, very thankful today. I give God thanks today. Um, I thank God today, you know, for, uh, for the sweet fellowship of the Spirit, for that intimacy with Christ. I thank God for so many things, so many things. Um, a lot of people aren't in their right mind today. A lot of people don't have a safe place to lay their head. Some people, uh, they're struggling with their health and maybe their marriages. And when God is able to heal and redeem our troubles. And I just thank God today for His great mercy, His loving kindness, His steadfast love. In the last verse in that Psalms 100, in Psalms 100, uh, He says, uh, For the Lord is good, His mercy his everlasting, his truth endures to all generations. And that's his faithfulness, his translated faithfulness. God is faithful throughout every generation. Whosoever will, let him come. Let him come. Come to Christ. Come to that life giving fountain. Hallelujah. He that had no money, hallelujah. Let him come and eat the bread of heaven oh thank you lord jesus i thank god today i had a, a couple of uh things really in the last couple days that really touched my heart i think it was yesterday i was on the street and a girl came up to me and she said are you the guy in the corner uh, and i said yes and uh, she just started crying and bawling and asking for prayer she said i'm the girl in the tent right here on the, on the corner and i said i said well i hope i uh, you know represented christ well that you heard the love of god the mercy of god i i hope i don't come off you know you know being you know tough and, and rude and all that so I always like to do that, that self-check. And she said, oh no, oh no. She said, it's uh, encouraging. And it and, uh, seems like the only ones you hear about are the ones that want to get in your face and, and try to and shut you down. But it's just so encouraging uh, to talk to somebody. Maybe they'd heard the gospel, that their heart was warmed 
with the love of God that hope, you know, and hope will touch their heart, and Christ will touch their heart. So I'm very thankful to God today. Um, today's Thanksgiving. I spent some time with a guy. Um, I'm just very grateful to be able to do that. Most people are with their family members or having Thanksgiving dinner and you know, church folks and all that. I love that and I respect that. I just don't happen to be with my family this Thanksgiving. But I'm out here on the streets. I'm talking to people about Christ and preaching the good word of God that men may hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, anyway, uh, just so encouraged today. The Lord really touched my heart. You know, to be able to spend some time with people that uh, maybe wouldn't even get invited over <laughs> over for dinner. <laughs> then I ain't nobody bringing them home for dinner to meet the wife and kids. <laughs> so I just thank God for bringing me to this place where I can get out and about and maybe share the love of God, the mercy of Christ, the faithfulness of God. Oh, give God thanks for He is good. His mercy is from everlasting, and His truth, His faithfulness is to all generations. So I pray today that, that you are stirred up in your soul, that, that this whole world won't make a man hard and cold. But I just pray that with that thanksgiving, with that sincerity, with that, that little bit of humility, that God will give you the grace today, that God will touch that heart. Hallelujah. That righteousness, amen, may reign. That peace that passes all understanding. The love that is beyond all knowledge. All this natural world has no idea the depths of the love of God. And that joy unspeakable and full of glory. Oh, I pray for you today that in your thanksgiving you have time uh, to give God thanks for His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, so God bless you today. Have fun. <laughs> Stay safe. And give God the glory in everything. Oh, hallelujah.